What's going on guys? I've got a 2006 Ford Explorer here and I'm going to use this car to point out to you the location of the two fuses and the one circuit breaker for the operation of your power windows as well as your power door locks. So to start with we're going to head under the heat under the hood here. There's a large 50 amp fuse that provides power for the um, power windows and that's going to be this one right here. So you can peer down inside of it to see if it's blown. As you can see, this one is intact. And to remove it, you're just gonna wiggle it while you pull up. You don't wanna squeeze too hard or you can mess up the fuse. Now that provides power to a circuit breaker. So let's go check that out. So a circuit breaker is very similar to a fuse in that they both work to protect a circuit. The difference is with the circuit breaker, it can reset itself. So we're gonna get in here and that's the circuit breaker. So the idea is if, you know, if you're trying to roll up the window and it's hitting something like the window is getting obstructed and maybe you start to pull too much current, it will temporarily cause this breaker to, to pop. But these can fail. So you can pull this out and use a uh, ohm meter and measure the resistance between those two terminals. Uh, you should have very low resistance. You could also, and I don't really recommend this for a long-term solution, you can permanent, you can uh, connect those two pins together on the fuse box. That will bypass your circuit breaker. You know, as I said, that's just a temporary thing. Now, as far as the uh, door locks, there is a 20 amp fuse right here. This provides power for all of the door locks. So check that out as well. Now let's say you've covered your bases, you've checked the basic stuff and everything is working as far as the fuses and the circuit breaker, but you're still having issues. One thing I recommend, you know, every time you open and close the door, there's some wires in there that get uh, flexed and sometimes they can, they can break. So what you can do is you can hold the switch in one certain position while you're opening and closing the door. And if there's a certain angle at which you can hold the door and the windows start working, then you know to check for a messed up wire in here. Um, you know, after that, really the best thing to do is just go ahead and pop off the door panel so you can start, you know, examining the wiring and checking to see if you're getting power where you need it. Yeah, I hope this was helpful for you guys. Please be sure to let me know if you have any questions.